Hey, you know, it's the holiday season. And I love a good Christmas song. I love Christmas music. You know, my you know, wife and I, we will, at cocktail hour, sit in the garage and we'll put on uh, an internet station that's playing all country Christmas music. Oh. And then we'll play a game as to if we can guess who's singing the song. Oh, yeah. Follow me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one came up last night. <laughs> and every time I've been hearing it, it seems to creep me out, Ron. Baby, it's cold outside. You know that song, right? It is cold outside, by the way. It is. But you know what? My wife loves that song. It's a creeper song. My wife loves it. Baby, it's cold outside. Uh, here, have another drink with a... I just want to go. <laughs> no, don't go. All right, look, people are being too sensitive. Yeah. And we're going to talk about it next on Men Are So Smart. Ronnie, you know, for the longest time, I've worked in radio, mm -hmm. and so I have seen a lot of the things that go on behind the scenes. Scenes. I think I could even write a book about some of the stuff that I've seen, but a radio station in Cleveland, where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. Was it WKRP? I don't think it was. <laughs> has reportedly pulled the song, Baby It's Cold Outside, from its rotation of Christmas music after receiving complaints from listeners over the track's predatory wow that is a strong word predatory predatory undertones wdok christmas 102 christmas 102.5 confirmed to a local tribune news station that it won't be playing the song in its rotation this holiday season after listeners voice concerns ronnie yeah the duet which was written in the 40s features a woman singing about how much she how she must be leaving a man's home while he tries to convince her not to, pointing to the wintry weather. Yeah, oh, you don't want to go out there. It's no, cold. No, it is cold outside. Yeah. yeah. Here, have this drink and don't mind this pill that I'm throwing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I, Xanax. I really, <laughs> I really can't stay, the woman sings, to which the man re replies, but baby, it's cold outside. And then the woman questions, uh, say, what's in this drink? <laughs> Tastes like Xanax. <laughs> I really must go. WDOK Midday host Desiree said, it wasn't really the station's decision to pull the song, but the Christmas lineup is decided by the listeners. Uh huh. Jeez. Okay, so is your salary. Well, I knew it was cold back there, but I didn't know there were so many snowflakes. All right, this has <laughs> all got to be, it's all got to surround the Me Too, hashtag Me Too movement, yeah. right? Uh, I bet. A vast majority of their listeners voted to remove the song from the holiday rotation, with many arguing that the lyrics take on a new meaning and the current Me Too movement Bingo, I knew it. against sexual harassment and assault. People might say, oh, enough with that, hashtag me too. But if you really put that aside and listen to the lyrics, it's not really something you might want your daughter to be in that kind of a situation. The tune may be catchy, which it is, um, but it's maybe not to promote that sort of an idea. Come okay. On, one more drink. You know, probably one of my favorite, I have about three great Christmas movies okay, that I have well, to watch every year. How about Christmas songs? Do you have uh, one favorite, Ronnie, before we go on here? Uh, this is taking it too far. Okay, way too far. Yeah, well, I'm a big fan of uh, Karen Carpenter. Almost any Christmas song Beautiful that Karen voice. Carpenter does, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. But the movie Elf. Yes, I've they, got it recorded. They sing this song, and it is one of the cutest parts in the whole movie, where uh, Zoe Deschanel is in the shower, and she's singing, and uh, Will Ferrell is sitting there listening to her sing, and he's just like barely mouthing, barely, barely giving the response to her, you know, her singing. And it is absolutely, it's adorable. Uh, and my wife, like said, she loves the song. I don't know. I, I think people are just getting softer. Yeah, uh, my favorite would have to be Eagles, Come, Baby, Come Home. Oh. Or Please Come Home for Christmas. Yes. That's what oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that song. Yep. And then there's Bono, sing, sing, who sings Please Come Home for Christmas. And then uh, War Is Over, oh, John, John Lennon. Lennon. Those are my three top three songs yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I think it's taking a 2018 lens on a song, lens on a song, that was written a very, very long time ago. 
it really pushed the line of consent. The character in the song is saying no, and they're saying, well, does no really mean yes? And they think in 2018, what we know is consent is yes. And if you get a no, it means no. And oh my God, Ronnie, I'm confused to the point that my head's going to explode. And you know what? <clears throat> it's not, people's sensitivity is not just limited to this song. Right. There are other things that are going on right now. Uh, for instance, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was just shown recently on the local television stations here. What an uproar across the country. They say right off the bat that there is bullying mm -hmm. in, in the show. Yep. Well, and, and Rudolph's not allowed to play in any reindeer games, right? damn it. Yes. I'm not making it up. And then they also showed a Snoopy show, Snoopy uh, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. And there's a Thanksgiving table, uh -huh. and Charlie Brown's at one end, and I think Lucy's at the other. And you have... Three kids, probably, you know, like Linus and Schroeder and right. who knows over here. And there was one black kid, and he's sitting by himself on the other side. By himself. That And that's racist. Okay. It's, first of all, it's it's a cartoon, people. Right. Okay, it's a cartoon. He could have taken a, a brown pen and colored any of those other kids brown. Exactly. Doesn't matter. And, you know, are, uh, Foghorn Leghorn, for God's sakes. Yosemite Sam. They're all about violence. Right. They're cartoons, for God's sakes. Well, if you want to talk about a song that's got a little bit of stalker overtones to it, how about Sting's Every Breath You Take? Oh, yeah. I'll be Every watching move you. Every you make. <laughs> I'll be watching you. Uh, I don't know. Um, you, can, you can read into art and music. I mean, music is art anyway, but you can read into it whatever you want. Yeah. And if you can't appreciate it for the music or for the art itself, then move on. And you know something? I, again, honesty. Here's the deal. I will take the Charlie Brown Christmas a hundred times over any other Christmas special because of the scene with Linus at the end where he explains the birth of Jesus. Oh, that's... yeah. Okay? That and is. if that doesn't make up for this indiscretion of having a black child sitting by themselves, then you know what? Go F yourself. Right. Yeah, because that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that really This is, is. Christmas, people. Yeah. And that's another thing, too, Ronnie. We're not going to say happy holidays. No. We At least I can't speak for you. No. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. We'll probably do a couple more Christmas episodes before that time comes up, and then I would imagine we'll take some time off around Christmas and New Year's yeah. and come back uh, in 2019 strong. But this is not our last show. No. We've got more to come in December, yeah. but we wanted to get this out early while it's still fresh on people's minds. And then mind. happy Festivus for the rest of us. You betcha. <laughs> you got your poll up? Is that what it was? I can't remember. Yeah, there was a Festivus poll. Festivus poll. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you'd like to comment, if you disagree with us, uh, you have a complaint, a suggestion, whatever it might be, that's what the, that's there for below. Put it in the comments and you'll be blocked. Yeah, <laughs> immediately, <laughs> if not sooner. And uh, we will get back to you on your comments and with replies, and, and, and we'll do that. Uh, our email address is lou at mentorsosmart.com. And Ronnie at mentorsosmart.com. And if you enjoyed the episode, give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that. Also, subscribe to our channel, won't you? When you do, click the button, says subscribe, and then click the bell, because when you click that bell, you will then get notifications each time a show comes up, and we hope that you'll watch them all. And you know what? Watch till the end of each episode, because sometimes I put a little Easter egg in there. You just Ooh. never know. Yep. You never know. Bloopers, maybe. <laughs> kind of like this show. Yeah, blooper roll. Well, Anything can happen. This whole show is a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen, and usually does. Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. That's another episode of Rap on Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye. Hey, Lou. Oh, what the? Whoops. Wait a minute. You can't do that. Sorry. Hey, Lou. <laughs> hey, Ronnie. Wait, we're all messed up again. Okay, hold on. Let's Cut. Uh, uh, Let's... Hold on. Uh, hold it. Stop. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. <laughs> Was that right? I think we're okay, right. Okay, good. <laughs>